Chapter 11, Lines and Lines Wow, this drawing is so beautiful. I wish I could draw like this. It's pretty simple, Priya. An image, or a drawing, is made up of many lines. You see this? Let's watch this video to learn more about lines. This kind of line is called a standing line. This one is a sleeping line. And you see these lines here? They are called slanting lines. Now, they're also curved lines. They look like this, or like that, or like that, or like that. These are all called curved lines. Now, why don't we try drawing something using these different lines? So let's start by drawing two curved lines. And there's another one in a different direction. Now, let's try drawing a standing line. Then two slanting lines on each side. Then let's draw two sleeping lines on each side. Now, we'll draw one more sleeping line and two standing lines. Wow, what do we have here? We have a dancing figure, right? Why don't you try and use some of these lines and also draw some different kind of figures? Now that we know what these different lines are called, let's take a look at this image and identify the different lines in it. Now, these are the standing lines. And if you look at the tree, we have two more standing lines. So now if you look closely in this picture, I'm sure you can find more standing lines. Well, if you looked at the door, you see two more standing lines at the door. Now that we found all the standing lines, let's try looking for the sleeping lines. If you look on the top of the house, there's one over there. If you look at the bottom of the house, there's another one. Now let's see, is there anywhere else where we can find a sleeping line? At the bottom of the tree, there's another sleeping line. There's one more sleeping line left on the top of the door. There you go. Now we found all the sleeping lines. Let's try looking for slanting lines. Now if you look at the roof, one side of the roof has a slanting line, and the other side of the roof also has a slanting line. So we know apart from these, there are also some curved lines here. So let's try looking for those curved lines. If you look at the moon here, you'll see that the outside of the moon is made up of one curved line. And the inside of the moon is another curved line. Let's go to the tree. Half the tree on the left side is made up of one curved line. And the right side of the tree is formed by another curved line. Well, I hope you had fun here. Do look at other pictures if you get the time. Check out what kind of different lines they have. See you next time. Bye-bye.